Hey guys, welcome back to this video and welcome back to AF Farms. So today we're taking a look at the multi-blade. So this is a uh, technically a leveler in the mod hub. So it's available for download. Uh, the author is Hofi or Hofi. So I'll put a link in the description on where you can get it. But uh, yeah, I just want to showcase this mod because I've been using it quite a bit for forestry and it's been very, very handy. So this is basically how I've got it configured currently. with a winch, uh, a couple of little additions on the side and so forth. So let's jump into the shop, we'll come down to our mods and we will find it here and then we'll go through some of the features and then we'll showcase a bit of a demonstration on how to use it. So there it is there, multi-blade, uh, alright multi-blade, Use this blade for any purpose you need, from leveling your silo to handling logs in the forest. So, 5,860 to buy, uh, base price. So this is the standard design. Uh, you can get it with a log fork, uh, folding mechanism, which is what I've got. So these two end sections will fold uh, in on themselves. So I'll demonstrate that soon. So I'll get it configured the way I've got it. Uh, the extension, so we've got the frame, We've got the frame and grid, so I've gone the frame and grid just to give me more pushing surface for when I'm moving logs around. Winch, pretty straightforward, just adds a winch to the top there. Uh, next one is edge, so you can have a straight edge at the bottom, which just helps you to get uh, leveling flat surfaces, um, serrated, not quite sure where you would use serrated, but it's there if you need it. Rock, obviously. If you're going to be moving rocks and then stuff around, but I think I've, I think I went the straight edge for mine. Uh, pinks, they are on the side, so they give you a little bit of extra. So if we can zoom in slightly, you can see there's like a serrated edge on the side of the blade, so that gives you, and also there's some serrations on the front of the blade, so that just makes the blade a little bit more sticky for when you're moving logs around. Uh, let's get this camera back to a decent area. Yeah, it just makes the logs stick to the blade a little bit more when you're trying to push them. Um, so I've been finding that's been helpful. Lights, um, you know, I haven't got lights, but obviously you can put them on. And then just some decorative warning strips. All right, attacher type. So we've got three, so we've got three point. So this will go onto the back of a tractor. Uh, you've got front loader, which will go onto a front loader. And then you've got the wheel loader configuration. So whatever a piece of equipment you're going to use it on obviously choose the correct hitch I've got mine configured for wheel loader um, just because it gives me a little bit more horsepower and pushing pushing force which is basically how I'm using it and then you can change the colors all that sort of stuff so let's back out of there and we'll give this thing a bit of a demonstration so we've got a front loader here this is the class Torion uh, 1914 and we are just going to move some logs around so basically in my forestry setup I've got a couple of bunkers so I'm just going to go to the smaller bunker away from these trees but basically this is designed in game as a leveler however it does function as a um, Kind of like a duck, kind of like a bucket, kind of like a pusher. It's it's sort of unique in its in its application. So we've got two logs here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and push these into the fence a bit better. So generally speaking, in this configuration where I've got my um, logs, I would push them in this way, and then I'd come around with the, the blade and then push them in this way to square them up so to make it easier for my uh, high lifter or my other this one here to come and pick them up so that's basically the setup another cool feature is the winch so to get the winch activated all we need to do is push L3 on the PS5 bring out this little tape and we can connect so by pressing X a log to our winch. Now we can effectively 
just back out back on out and now we can drag that winch around I mean drag that log around and get it into the position we want so when you want to detach you basically just press triangle that'll now detach now the fork has a folding mechanism so if we just demonstrate that there so it just allows you to push logs from multiple angles I find the larger surface area uh, works for me so you've also got tilting this way and that way to get up and under logs as required it doesn't tilt left to right more so just up and down so let's get this log back into the pile so what I would do with this basically just skim along the ground sort of get into the middle of the log here and just push it gently into position so that's that's it really so let's go and do let's go head over to the bigger stack and I'll demonstrate uh, on a bigger pile of logs so I've got one here that I need to sort of massage into place so I'll just give it a little touch so we can lift up those logs make the pile taller or shorter if required so that's that's another use it's very handy for, for log handling overall so we've got a couple of logs over here that have come out of come out of line with the others and I'll explain what I mean by that in a minute so these logs are all 12 meters all right so I've got a couple here that are sticking out of the pile so you can see them there and there so when I come in with my uh, wheel loader with the log fork I want to hit this in the middle and pick those logs up so if I've got logs that aren't centered it causes my wheel loader to be unbalanced and you've probably experienced this too because the logs are maybe different lengths uh, they're not all organized and stored uniformly so the multi-blade is great for just coming along obviously I've got a bit of a tight area because I've got my forest planted but you can just come in with the blade set the height you want and then just give them a tap into position so you can see how I've just lined those up now that one is a little bit stuck because of the weight of the logs above so what I want to do here if I want to move this log let's see what I can try and do so I can attempt to try and winch it out which we'll actually try that so let's see if this will do it so we've got one log there that's stuck uh, so we want to grab the winch rope connect to our tree so press X and let's see if we can't pull this out so there we go pull that out nicely so there we go now our stack can be fixed up so let's let's detach this so I'm going to detach that way and then I'm just going to try and swing this back into position so what we do is we just get on the edge and I'm going to line this back up in the pile so this should swing around on itself there we go and then I'll just come in from this end and give it a bit of a nudge to add it to the pile while we're there we will so I haven't, got, I haven't put the blade all the way down in this case let's try that again okay and then let's see if we can't get those other logs shifted on this end stack so it's a lot easier when the trees aren't here but I've just replanted this section so that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing so there we go now we've got a nice even a nice even stack of logs all, all lined up in this section and then when this bunker is full basically the logs will extend pretty much out to about here usually about two to three high so um, they don't have they're not too heavy on top of each other to uh, to maneuver so let's just get this guy in position so once again just going to gently push this guy into line and there we go so that is potentially a tad longer than some of the others so this might actually be a 13 meter log 
So, not a huge deal, but I've obviously cut one of these other trees incorrectly. So I've, it's given me a longer length for this particular log. If you wanted to, you could just chainsaw this off to make it even. However, I'm just going to leave it here in this case because um, these logs are probably going to end up in my sawmill over over here. So the, the log length is not critical for here. The log length is a lot more important for loading my log trailer. So I want to make sure that they're nice and nice and uniform, stacked neatly, so it facilitates easy loading. So there you have it. Let's just turn this off quickly. The uh, multi-blade by Hofi or Hofi. Hofi. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll leave the details for this mod in the description. If you've got any questions or comments, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.